Okay, I got my small block. Just put the oil pan on it. Now we're going to put a stainless steel motor mount kit on it from Speedway Motors. And the kit comes with a motor mount, which will bolt onto the block down here. And then it comes with four tabs. We will weld these to the front suspension. Uh, if uh, these don't work, fortunately, we have enough metal and tools, plasma welders, things here that we can make something. But I'm hoping this will work right out of the box. So let me get this bolted up to the block and then we'll work on lining the block up with a front suspension. Be right back. This morning I tore apart the 350 Chevy that was donated to this project. We'll send this block out and have it checked and make sure that everything is good on it. And if it is, we will be building the 350 Chevrolet small block with a four bolt main to put in uh, project Double Trouble. More importantly today, we were able to take this small block. This is a 327 that was donated as well. And we were able to attach the motor mounts to it and temporarily tack the motor mounts to the front suspension. So we've got the 350 sitting where it needs to sit. Um, this suspension came with a power steering rack and pinion. However, it's for hydraulic power steering. And I can, I'm going to get a little tricky here, and I'm going to put electric power steering in this. So I actually had to order a Mustang II uh, manual rack and pinion steering. And so when that comes in, I can get that assembled and then move on to finishing the installation of the knuckles and spindles and everything else for the front end. You'll see here, I've kind of pushed out the two frame rails of the frame in order to figure out exactly where the uh, new front suspension has to weld to the frame. I'm going to notch out the inside of both sides and then we'll pull the frame back into position over the 2x4 front suspension and weld it all together with the necessary supports um, to hold it together. I have temporarily attached the 400 turbo automatic transmission you'll see the transmission mounts that were on the frame for whatever transmission they were going to use and then of course if you look down here you can see the transmission mounts for the Chevrolet and they don't line up which is not a problem I will simply remove those and fabricate um, the appropriate transmission mount. And that will start to get our uh, power plant and transmission into place. So this is where the firewall sits. Um, it comes forward just a little bit more. You can see 
but I actually have quite a bit of space under uh, here. And uh, this is a Chevrolet, so the distributor sits in the back and I wanted to make sure that we didn't have any issues with the distributor hitting the firewall. And so that's not gonna be an issue. Anything where I have to put a hole in the firewall, this is what we're gonna to use to try to figure out where to do that so that we're not cutting holes in this firewall until we know absolutely where they wanna be. Yeah. We got a lot done this week. We've taken the small block Chevy motor, attached the motor mounts to it, attached the block to a turbo 400 automatic transmission and hooked those into the subframe the transmission is free flowing right now i've got to build a cross member for that i've got my mock-up firewall on here so that we can get the spacing right uh, so that our distributor clears the firewall we may be able to move the um, whole front assembly back another inch or so. I'll get that figured out in the very near future. But the other thing I did just for the fun of it was I did go and get one front fender, bolt a front fender on and set a tire in the hole where the uh, spindle would be if it's attached. I've ordered the Mustang II manual steering rack and pinion that should be in one day this week as soon as that comes in we'll get the rack and pinion and the rest of the suspension attached to the uh, uh, universal front suspension and that'll help us figure out exactly how far in or out it needs to go on the frame and where the tires will actually bolt up but I'm thinking we're probably pretty close. See you next week and we'll figure out what we've got to do.